anger plus anger equals butterflies. How does anything get repaired? Let's just say that you bang up your car. Does getting angry at it and hitting it repeatedly with a baseball bat do anything to repair it? Like if two neighbors are arguing over who has to take care of like taking down a tree that lies, you know, right smack dab in the middle of both of their property lines. Does like a perpetual argument of you do it, no you do it, no you do it, no you do it. Does that solve anything? Would like getting a bunch of your friends to like go over there and attack and have this like all out, all out war going on, would that make the initial problem go away? Does that do anything? If you and your twin are in separation, is the best way to resolve that, to get really angry at them, or curse them, or physically yell at them, or really work yourself up, you know, full of this hatred, or, or get really angry and mad at them? And then, like, you always have this mad feeling inside when you think of them, you know, just hearing their name gets you upset. Does that help your ability to resolve things? Like normally, does that, does that help the situation? Or does that, you know, further push things in the opposite direction? Like logically looking at how things normally get resolved does that occur during times of peacefulness or through times of strong arming and forcing and kicking and screaming and doing whatever it is to get your way? You know, does this, does, does resolve come in the form of acting like an immature child or does it come from acting as a, a mature adult? Working it out from a place of compassion and peace. Like, you say you feel peaceful and loving. Oh, it's so peaceful. Love this journey. It's so peaceful and full of love. I'm filled with, like, this compassion. However, like, the minute, <laughs> more like the second, your twin does something that you don't agree with, or it triggers you somehow, all of these things are at the fucking window. The pitchforks, the torches come out. You're out to play, baby. Here we go. You, the fists are up. You know, next thing you know, you don't, you don't even know how this occurs. Next thing you know, you're so nuts, you're throwing like, Flaming bags of dog shit at their car or at their house. You know, think about where you're at. If this, where are you? If the slightest thing would suck the peace instantly out of your life and propel you into like full on attack mode, get real. You know, you have work to do before you can even be given. Anything close to union with your twin flame. They can feel what you feel. They are you. You're one. You understand? So like what you feel, they they feel that. You know, you in other words, you feel like anger, rage, dislike toward them. They aren't coming near you. Why would anybody do that? Now, when's the last time you saw someone that was like flipping out? And you know, do did you did you see people like coming up to them, like trying to introduce themselves? Like, hey, nice to meet you. What's your name? 
What what do you like and dislike? No. You know, people people do one of those one of two things in that situation. They either run in the opposite direction out of fear, or they try to subdue the person out of fear. Like think about war. Some country is causing a huge ruckus or you know doing things that aren't very agreeable amongst the rest of the world. Some will make a move to make that country submit through force because they're scared of their safety. They take like a proactive stance to gain control over them. While others might stay quiet, turn the lights off, you know, hide so they they don't draw attention to themselves and hope that the problem passes or goes away or maybe goes in a different direction. Like either of those scenarios might be a perfectly appropriate response for everyone's safety involved. But it doesn't resolve the core issue. Neither way is taking an approach to truly repairing the separation of values that are being experienced. So those separation upsets remain present and will keep coming up to be repaired until they are repaired. And the separation starts from within yourself. The war you're fighting is within you. You see it coming from them, but it's only a projection of what is occur occurring within you. Think about it this way. You, your heart is a movie projector, and your twin is the screen. Your twin... You're watching the movie and you're getting angry at the screen instead of realizing the source of where the picture is coming from. It's coming from you. Don't misdirect all of these emotions at them and, and bury more shit on top of your union and clearing your clearing your blocks and upsets it's free to subscribe so do that click the links below to transform your life there's guidance classes guidance sessions there's channeled readings there's my e-course it's all to help you and i'll see you next time